Hey everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we are going to take a little break from the sublimation, give you something a little bit different, um, and it's actually really simple, and that's making a snow globe tumbler from the Dollar Tree. And this little travel mug, it's from the Dollar Tree. You can pick them up. Um, I think they had like 12 at my store. And they're super easy and super cool. Um, nothing crazy, it's a great gift idea, great to just have at home, great for kids. Um, and it's a really quick project. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steps so that you can make yours at home. All right, so the materials that we're gonna need for this project is the Dollar Tree Design Your Own Mug. It's a twist top, so that works like that. And then this part will screw off and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you'll need vinyl. You can do either permanent or removable, whatever works for you. I do notice that the permanent sticks better and you have less giveaway with it. So I do prefer the permanent vinyl. Um, you'll need some measuring tablespoons, um, glitter, and your craft glue, something to trace your outline with. I'll go over that and some scissors, also some water, and then some paper towels just in case. All right, so the first step is go ahead and take your travel mug. You'll take the lid off and we don't need that for now. And then this top part here unscrews from the bottom and we don't need that at the moment either. The part that we do need is the paper that's inside of it. So the mug you can actually set off to the side for now. And this is the template that you're gonna trace to make a cutout that's gonna wrap around um, your cup here. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I like to because otherwise when you do put your glitter in or whatever you put into it, the back um, is dark, so it kind of blends everything in. I feel that if you have either a white background or um, some kind of color background and then match your glitter to it, it just turns out a better product. So that's what I like to do. You can skip this step if you would like, but I like to do it. So this is your template. You'll trace around this on the vinyl. Permanent vinyl does stick better, I have found, but I like this color, so it is a removable vinyl just for this project. But I do prefer the permanent over the removable, whatever works for you though. I'll go ahead and get this traced and then we'll move on to cutting it out and then move to the next step. All right, so I have my template on the back of my vinyl. Um, the reason I do this is because you can mark anywhere, make a scribble, and it's not gonna show up in the next step. It's not gonna show up on the front of it where you want it to show. You won't have any ink marks or anything because this is gonna be removed anyways. So go ahead and get your template traced. All right, so we have our template nice and traced out here. And this is the part that you're going to cut out, and this is what will wrap around this part here. All right, so the next step is just to cut this out, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so when you're doing your template, you could probably make two out of one. I just did it in the middle just to be easier to show you, but you could do two in one. Just be careful with where you're placing your template so you don't overcut or overlap. All right, so from this point, I like to go ahead and take the inner part of this and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this around with the removable part, the back side facing outwards because when we do trace that template, it is a little bit larger because it's meant to stick a picture in there, uh, but we don't wanna put paper in there because obviously water and paper don't mix well. So it's gonna be larger than what the wraparound um, ratio is for this. So it's gonna overlap a bit. And I like to go ahead and just see where my overlap is. And then you can trim it off um, from here instead of having to fight with it later. That's just how I found it to be easier for me. But again, whatever works best for you works for you. You'll find your own way, but this is how I like to do mine. So I'll just find my crease here. And then I'll make a, um, a line down with the pen and then just cut uh, along that line. You can even just do a, a nail indent like this and that works as well. But just to be able to show you better, I'm just gonna make that line also.
All right, so that's the line where I'm gonna cut. And again, I always mark on the back of it because that's the part that's gonna get removed anyways. So if you're scribbly a little bit, it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you cut on the tab that's flopping here. You cut on that side of the line so that way you don't cut too short. So let's go ahead and cut the excess off. All right, and now you can wrap it around and you can see it lines up a lot better. And there's not as much of an overlap there. So it kind of just lines up really well right there. So the next step is we're gonna remove the back of this and wrap it around here. You do wanna go slow, make sure you're not getting any air bubbles cause it is noticeable once you put it in the cup of water, it kind of makes it stand out a little bit. So do go slow and take your time. I like to go ahead and peel off the back of the vinyl here. So I'll go ahead and take part of this and actually go ahead and cut half of it just like that. And then go ahead and tape it to the edge because it's easier to lay it down in the center and wrap it over and I'll show you here versus trying to fight with it sticking all over the place because it's just a little bit more difficult doing it that way. So you'll take your cup here and whichever way you wanna do it, if you wanna lay it down and do it or do it over, works for you, works for you. I like to do mine like this and see instead of everything sticking, it doesn't stick and I can move it, make sure I'm centering it properly. So go ahead and put this on. And you just kind of want to barely just tuck it under um, the edge there. You don't need to push it all the way up. And just kind of flatten it out there. Just like that. Okay. And now you have these kind of wings here. And you can start peeling the sides of this off as you wrap it around. Okay, so that is where we're at at this point here. Let's move all that. You just see I got pretty close to that seam. I cut a little bit jaggedy right here, but that's fine. So you will notice there's an overlap again because it was made for the outer part of the cup, not the inner part. You can either just fold this over or cut it off. For this, I'm just gonna fold it over. And as you do this, you can either cut slits in it or just use your nail to run it up. And that way you kind of push out air bubbles, you'll get kind of like little creases like this, which is why you put the slits in it. And that would prevent those um, little creases. But since this is just showing you how to make them, I'm not super worried about it. But let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so your cup should look kind of like this at this point. Again, you can be a little bit more careful with the edges, but do remember that there's gonna be glitter down here anyways. Um, so it's gonna kind of cover that up. And if you really wanna get into it, you could also put a layer right here to cover that. Just depends on how deep you wanna get into it. Um, so let's go ahead and move to, on to the next step. And that is getting the water and the glitter into the cup. All right, for this step, you're gonna need now the outer part of the cup, water, your glitter, the tablespoon measures, and the clear craft glue. I like the craft glue just because it works for me, but you can use whatever works for you as long as it's clear and has that glue consistency. Um, for the glitter, I've noticed that the fine glitter works the best, especially for the Dollar Tree um, mugs, because the outer part and the inner part um, makes kind of a thinner gap. Um, so the fine does flow a little bit better. If you do want to use a little bit more chunky, they might get stuck in the wall. But it's whatever you want to use. This is just what I found works best for me. Um, and I think these were from Hobby Lobby and I got the glue from the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree also. Um, for your mixture, you'll need water and glue. I like to do three tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of craft glue. Um, in total, it's five. And then you wanna make sure you remember to put your sparkles in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the water and the glue and then we'll put the sparkles in after that. 
All right, so now that you have your mixture, you're just gonna kind of mix it up, make sure it gets nice and mixed, and then we'll add the glitter. All right, so with the glitter, you can add as much or as little as you want. I like to do the teaspoons. Um, since my tumbler is primarily blue, I'm probably gonna do a little bit less of the blue. Um, so I'll probably do three teaspoons all together between the blue, silver, and the white. And then we'll again mix it up really well. Okay, so that seems pretty glittery in there, nice and mixed up. And I don't know if you can kind of see from that angle, it keeps moving, but it's really saturated with glitter. So it's going to be really glittery, which is what I want. Again, you can use a less amount or more, just whatever you're trying to do. All right. So for this step, this is where you want to have the paper towels, because once you put this in, there are times it can overflow if you did put too much solution in or glitter, because glitter will also take up space. Um, so just be careful. If you put too much in, it's fine. It's just going to drizzle down and you still screw it on tight though. Um, so for this part, you are going to want to glue this on so that this doesn't um, unscrew when you're using it or any other time. I like to go ahead and put some hot glue on the edge in here and then put it in and screw it in really tight, let it set, um, and then it's pretty well sealed. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll kind of finish up here. All right, so we're nice and glued there. And after you get it glued, you just go ahead and take it, put it in, push it down and screw it in really tight. And if the glue gets on, this is what I like about the, the hot glue gun, is if it does get messy, it peels off easily. Um, but you can use whatever glue is going to work for you. This is just what I like to use because once it's heated, you can clean it up. Um, so you can see it's there, it's a mess, but it'll clean up once it's all set. So that's kind of what it looks like right now. Again, we're going to go through and kind of clean it up and then we'll show you the final results. All right, so there is the final product there. You can see really how glittery it is. Um, and like I was saying, when you're wrapping the bottom, I wasn't too concerned with it because you can see how it really hides it pretty well. So when I was wrapping it really quickly, like I said, I, just, I wasn't concerned because it gets hidden pretty well, um, unless you're looking real hard and having the glitter come all the way out. But otherwise, it's really cute, really cute gift idea, really cute just to have at home for kids. And it's from the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, it's super easy, super fun shake it on up and it makes a great glitter globe just from the, do the Dollar Tree. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful for you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.